Hello, I'm Andrew Trillissim, and we are back in Dwarf Fortress. Still in Dwarf Fortress 2012, we are gradually coming to the end of this little series, mainly because I'm trying to focus on the mechanics and try and explain how to do things, rather than actually focusing on, you know, you know, the most most cool things, really. So, if we, uh, am I controlling this? Yeah, there we go. Doop. And what is this? It's a forge. Okay, cool. And now, one thing I want to do is I have given us a optimizer. So if you look at the op edit optimization plan, optimal-ish. Uh, it's my first attempt at doing an optimization plan, so it's probably going to be a little bit iffy. Uh, we're going to save that. Um, actually, cancel. I've already done it. And now there's this button here called optimize. So we've got all our dwarfs selected. It has optimized. And you can see it's changed a lot of things. Uh, it's taken off a lot of hauling. And as you can see, it's it's taken the, the importance off of fishing, because uh, it's really... It's really the most unimportant of things, so fishing was like at the bottom of my priority list. Whereas a lot of other things, say mining, were up the top. Um, here we go, things like furnace, no, furnace operating, not really. Uh, things like armor, there we go. That was very, very uh, important to me. So I, I kind of put the emphasis on that. Ultimately, I think it's done a fairly good job. So if we have a look around, um, I want to find a good, where is our good um, stone crafter? There we go. Yeah, so he's got the job there. I think that's pretty good. Let us commit those changes. It's a pretty heavy commit. But ultimately, I think it's, you know, a fairly good one. As you can see, people who are, you know, fairly good at things have generally been given their job. Excellent. So let's go back into Dwarf Fortress. I'm going to unpause. And we'll see a lot of changes happening. So you're creating your thing. That's nice. Let's look at top side. We are slowly creating that wall at the back. That's quite good. Um, once we've done that, uh, we will be putting some fortifications up. But for now, that is fine. It's a very odd bit missing there. I'm guessing that's been suspended. Yeah. So unsuspend, of course, going over to using Q and then S to unsuspend. By the way, as I've said earlier, moving around faster, you shift. That moves you 10 instead of 1 when you are moving around. Let's look down here. Um, forge is being worked on. Let's build ourselves some more nest box because we do have them. So B for build, shift N for nest. Oh, that's burial receptacle. I want shift N. I need to make that even. It looks weird. I need more nest boxes, please. Nest box. Make me two rock nest boxes. There we go. And we should see this starting to come together. Maybe not, you know, perfectly yet, but we're getting there. I've made an amazing artifact. <laughs> Yutef Log... Gembissel? Log I don't know. Carpenter has created... Oshermid... A highwood armor stand. Oh, oh, fair enough. You made me a highwood armor stand. That's really useful. I am so glad you did that. Ooh, right, that's um a bit a bit useless. That's the only one that's pretty damn useless. Uh, we are getting there with our stuff. We have a few more armor stands to create. Rock doors being created. Beds are slowly getting there. Once we're done with the rock doors, I'm thinking we've got a few more things to do. Let's check here. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, we might have to start building a uh, sheriff and hammer sort of type setup. I think that means we need to set up. Um... Oh, we're getting low on drink, are we? Uh, oh, food's pretty low. Bars, we're in the range. Bolts. Slowly getting there on coffins. Drink is plummeting. Goblets are steady. Mechanisms are being built, and wheelbarrows are steady. And just some things don't seem to get built. Hmm. Um, our idler percentage is okay. Generally, I guess you're aiming for about 10% idlers, and that would be about 5, and we're currently on 7, varying to 8, so I guess it's more like an 8 average. Uh, it's not terrible. It won't work. Uh, what have you done? Oh, you need more plump helmet spawn. Right, yeah, so we have definitely filled up that farm. I'm actually going to start creating more farmland. 
because, well, I guess food is important to us. It, you know, call me old fashioned, but I like to eat. It's one of these dwarfish things, really. Dwarfish, dwarfish, yeah. Same old, oh, same old argument. You say potato, I say potato. Now, of course, it's being soil, and we've got some pretty damn good miners. We're digging pretty fast. And you've located some damp stone, so you're going to be digging around that. More damp stone, okay. Fine. Fine. Please don't pause the damp stone. I like to know where it is, I guess, but... You know, I am actually watching this. You can change what you pause for. I believe it's a, a settings file somewhere. But uh, you can't do it while you're in-game. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to watch this. Now, apparently, you can save the game by using the DF hack menu, and that is one thing I would like to do right now. I realize I haven't saved for a little while, so let's type in quick save, and it forces a save. Excellent. And any second, and by any second, I mean, you know, a few seconds. We, we do take a little bit of time to do this properly. Come on. We'll get there. You just have to trust in the DF hack. Come on. Now, by the way, you know the dig V command I have been using? You can actually bind that to a hotkey. Just like you can bind your zoom levels to hotkeys. You can do DF hack and ask it to bind. So I think it's something like key bind. Let's ask it. Is it key bind? No. Key binding? There we go. Key bind, set, add, stuff like that. And you can then add your keys. So, for instance, I could go key binding, add, and then, you know, uh, F. And are we using F9? F9. And then you just add whatever you want to use in the command line. So it would be, for instance, dig V. Fine. Let's actually try that. So I'm thinking F12. Because that's normally my recording button. And of course, I'm actually using a different program to record because uh, Dwarf Fortress is a bit special. So let's try that. Key binding. Add. F12. And then we want it to be dig v. Invalid system spec f12. Okay. Do I have to binding add f12? Okay. Okay. Maybe I have to go to. I've done this before. Why are you not working? Oh, yeah, these don't go up to F12. They go to F8. Um, I guess we can bind it to F8. I don't mind doing that. Let's try binding to F8. F8. And then I want you to be dig V. Invalid key F8. Okay. You won't accept F8. That sucks. I'm guessing it's a different way I need to enter it. Maybe I need to enter it with... Um, invalid key spec F8. Oh, well. Supported keys. Control, Alt, Shift, F1 to 9, or Enter. Let's try that again. Key, binding, add, F8. We'll just use the key. F8 key? No. F8. And then dig V. Yes, that worked. Right, so I had to capitalize F. Which means if we test it out... Uh, where would we want to test this out? There. So click there and then F8. Bam! Done. There we go. Key binding set or add. Uh, I think it's key binding add because I was using a new one. And then you just have to say F8 dig V. Done. Sweet. So now we can actually mine that and get a bit more copper. Just because, you know, we don't have enough copper as it is. Ah, good times. Right, so I'm thinking we could do with maybe putting a sheriff's place up here. Now, a sheriff needs, you know, all his rooms and stuff. So I'm going to give him uh, a bedroom, a dining room, an office. One, two, three, four. And, and... Then we just need to give him some cells to look after. 
I'm actually going to get rid of this because I'd prefer it if it came off like a, a like a nice corridor type thing. So I'm thinking three by three corridor, just because that's our standard. Oh, whoops, wrong one. And then we put some nice little uh, cells in. Now, the cells are going to be basically bedrooms for dwarfs who've been bad, but the problem is because dwarfs who've been bad, like, a bit depressed and so on anyway, we don't want them to get worse tantrums. Um, because, well, then they just spiral down when you release them. Like, for instance, you'll often put someone in a prison because they have killed someone from a tantrum thing. Like, they'll go insane, they'll kill someone, then they'll be, feel better. That's one too big. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, it'll bug me. All right, let's, let's change that. Oh, God, I'm using the wrong keys. Uh, yeah, so you'll often put someone in there because they kill someone from a tantrum spiral. But if you put them in somewhere where they'll feel worse, because, of course, you know, they're in prison, they'll just, you know, continue to tantrum spiral. So you actually want them to feel, you know, okay-ish. So, I'm thinking, like, a cell like that, a 3x4. And, uh, well, I guess we'll have to fill out this, but we won't ever need this many cells. If we do, something has gone dreadfully wrong. Um, ugh. That looks horrible. Let's delete that. Dig. And then if we use X, we can split them up. So maybe four by four. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And I guess there's a three by three on the end. No, that looks horrible. Ugh. I don't know what to do about this. It's bugging my OCD. It needs to, They need to be equal. Oh, it's because you're not equal. That's why. There we go. Now they're equal. And... Right. Right, so... We'll draw a midline. I guess that'll do. It's a waste of space, but it bugs my OCD less, maybe. And let us put those in. There we go. And the sheriff can get in there. Sweet. Needs unrotten bone body part. Really? Do we not have any unrotten bone body parts? Oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess instead of making ourselves some bone. Oh, uh, no, I don't want that. Wait, I need to go and change these. So, how do I cancel bone bolts? Uh, remove. Ah, 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 ah. Let's make ourselves... So, bone bolt. Bolt out of wood. Let's also add... Uh, T, bone, bolt. So, we need to go down and select bone. And then our R count... Let's have 100 to 150. So they should be making them basically all the time. There we go. Bone bolts. Wooden bolts. Still not working on them. Hmm. We've got 45 bone bolts there, so that's not terrible. And then I will add another one, and I'll be asking for metal bolts. Yeah. I think maybe just copper bolts at the moment. We will actually specify copper. So we will have bolts, please. We would like a material. We'll go for specific, and we would like copper. Really? I can't use copper? Really? You haven't got things for copper? Inorganic. Oh, there we go. I have to go to inorganic and then copper. Okay, cool. And then I would like um, 100 to 150. Yes. Maybe that's what our problem is with uh, these. 
our ability to have coal because I've selected coal and it needs to be something else. Let's just add one and see. Right, so we want bars and they have to be made from material specific. It's inorganic, I think. Well, it's technically made of wood, so it's not really inorganic. Do we have charcoal or coal? Let's just check the old-fashioned way. No charcoal. Yeah, we don't have bituminous coal because uh, that's what you turn into the stuff. Maybe it's in plant-based? No. No, no, no. Let's cancel that. Okay. So what do we need to get? Uh, well, we need more food pretty desperately. I'm thinking we might have to butcher something. Um, we could do with drink. How's our drink going? Uh, it's going all over the place. We'll see. Could do more coffins. Still don't seem to be building any coffins. I just want coffins made of any stone. Is that that hard to do? Wheelbarrow still seem to be a problem. And we could do more bolts. I'm actually going to tell them point blank just in case to make me some copper bolts. I would like 100 of them, but you'll shorten that to... Oh, I made 10. Okay, let's remove that and try again. Um, copper bolt. Make me 100. Yes, you can't make 100. Okay, so make one, followed by... Make me a copper bolt. Make me 99. There we go. Maybe you'll take that under advisement. Coffin. I'll oh, make me 20 coffins, because we've got to outfit that place. And what else? I guess we need more wheelbarrows. That was in the list. Let's get four of them. And, oh, I don't know really now. What do we need? What do we need? Hmm. I guess we could just tell the gem cutter while we're here to cut some gems. We could just sell gems. Um, leatherworks, boyers, jewelers. Jewelers at task. Cut gem. Uh, yeah, sure. No, actually, I don't want to cancel cancel that. Let's just cut. Oh, I can't cancel something that's on repeat. There we go. Add task. Do we have any decent gems? Glass, glass, Mika. Mm, no. Uh, if they were decent stuff, I'd be like, yeah, sure, cut the gems. But that's nothing decent. We could do more bins, actually. We could do with some more bins. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to queue up some wooden bins. And I want, you know, 30 of them. Because right now, all of those bars, they could be in bins, and they aren't. Our idlers are about 5%, uh, about 10%, you know, so they're about 5. We're actually currently just managing underwards. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, oh, you've stopped digging damp stone. Yep, that's fine. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. You can complete some doors. Excellent. That means I can go down, and I can build some more stuff. We did build all the beds, didn't we? Uh, I think we did. I'm going to I'm gonna say that's a yes. Okay. Uh, so I want to go B build, B bed, load. I want outfitting. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then let's just check how many beds we've got left. I don't think we have many left. Yeah, we don't. So I'm going to say, please build me 20 more beds. And please build me 20 more rock doors. And that should be, um, that's 20, that's 20, that's 20. That should be 80 rooms. Once these are done, no one should need to sleep in the dormitory. They should all have their own spare bedrooms, and they should be all hunky-dory. Go, people, go! Sweet, and we, not, we are not idling at all. Oh, flickering on the idle, but... Oh, we've completed some armor stands. Excellent. This is working fairly well. I like this optimizer. Yes, I know you have damp stone. It's a thing. I'm aware. I'm aware we have problems with the dampness. I don't call it a problem, personally. I think it's fine. Yeah, this is going to happen a lot. No. I, don't, I don't really don't mind. Like, I, we can put a farm around it. It really doesn't bother me. It's just very annoying. 
Uh, let's build a door while we're up here, I guess. Um, boop, 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 boop. And I think that is almost all of the digging that needs to be done up here. Sweet. Right, which means we can go build, we can go P for plot. And then we just need to expand it. And I'm thinking we expand it to the full amount, right? We go crazy. And this is going to be plump helmets, so, you know, go crazy. And I think we don't need anything else greatly. But I'm also going to build another one anyway, because I want to start focusing on pigtails. Because I think you can wind them into ropes and stuff. Which would be particularly useful when you can turn them into cloths and you know, all that jazz. Also rock nuts, because you can press them for oil and you can turn the oil into um, eventually soap. So let us pop down to our bedroom level. It's getting done, it's getting done. We have less halls than we used to, so oh, we've got quite a lot of idlers. I guess it's maybe people on breaks. Um, mm, you seem to be doing okay. What's this? What's this? What's this? It is a human caravan! Good news, people! We can get stuff. So let's move some goods. Uh, what do we want? Select. Finished goods. Probably not as much as I want. I actually want a lot more than that. Do we have anything else we can sell, I guess? Um... Could do a couple of splints. We are a little bit low on splints. Um, what else? What else? Well, we've got, we got a lot of seeds sitting around. Um, yeah, nothing amazing, nothing amazing, nothing amazing. Some wine pots. No, I want my wine. Yeah, there we go. So, let us actually... I want to build something, didn't I? Can't remember what it was. Oh, well. Let's resume. And hopefully that stuff will be shifted up here. We have less haulers than before, but it should be fine. Need logs. Oh, we need more logs. Okay, well, let us DT, which is, of course, the code word for chop down a bunch of trees. Bum, 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 bum. I like to have a nice big amount of trees underground just in case we end up in a siege. So let's actually start doing a, a whole crap load of them. And going over to here, oh crap, uh, we would like a trader. Trader requested at depot. You're currently constructing a rock door. Now that's going to unpack for a while. They have brought their entire caravans. The elves don't bring uh, wagons, or I, I don't see them often do it at least. Uh, humans tend to, and they uh, mean they've got a lot of stuff, which means they'll unpack for a while. Thief! Oh no! He'll probably leave. Oh no, that's fighting. Uh, the flying business bolt strikes the thief in the lower body, tearing the muscle and tearing the gut through the small cave spider silk tunic. He looks sick. He is propelled away. He throws up. His right arm skids along the ground, shattering the bone. So basically, he hit the ground so hard, he threw up in midair, and then he hit the ground so hard, he broke his arm. He stands into an obstacle. He then retches, vomits, retches, stands up. He's no longer stunned, and then he vomits again. Uh, human Maceman is fighting. Wait, was that the architect who just did that? No, that was... Oh, it was. He strikes the cobbled thief with the... Yeah. And then the Human Maceman bashes the cobbled in the head with his silver mace, bruising the muscle, jarring the skull through the brain and tearing apart the brain, and it lodged firmly in the wound. I think that's a dead cobbled. They're still unpacking their wagons, so they're going to take a while. So I don't mind the fact that uh, our trader is currently constructing a building. However, I might have to select nobles. Nobles don't get any other jobs. Soon. Hmm. Whilst it's happening, let's have a look at our military. Now, we have ten positions available. Hmm. Who do we want in our military? Well, let's bring up Dwarf Therapist. If we look at the military and we read dwarves... This is actually going to be our shooty unit, so we want someone who's a good Marksdorf. Hello. You are Mistem Gomath... 
Gmaffable. Gmaffable. You're important, right? What, do you, what else do you do? What else do you do? Let's look at your labors. Oh, you're an amazing animal person. I don't care about that. Mistem, you have made yourself captain of the guard. How do you feel about that? I'm sure you feel very happy. Uh, Mistem, 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 Mistem. Ranger. Oh, you're a ranger. That's probably why. Now let's just go find ourselves some unfortunates. Because I don't think there is... Yeah, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I've dabbled in it. Like, you know, you're competent. Oh, you're a dodger, sorry. Um... Yeah, we're good. Competent, competent, but ultimately, you know, they could be important. They could have other jobs. Uh, this person, of course, is great at spinning. Kib Abaingut. Well done. You've also found yourself drafted into the military. I hope you enjoy it. Kib Abaingut. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Well, let's bring up the dwarves again. Obok Rusolted. Now, normally you don't want females in the military because they can give birth in the middle of battle and then if the baby gets killed in the middle of the battle, everyone gets sad. However, honestly... Eh. Uh, you can micro if you want to go to that level. Now, Obok... He's the guy who's been doing all the shooting, right? The guys, the, actually the woman, sorry, who has been doing all the shooting and uh, killing that kobold, or at least, you know, damaging the kobold a lot. She's an amazing architect, but architecture doesn't matter. So she goes in. Abok was Tolsid. Welcome to the team. There we go. I'm going to pull some other people as well. Now, I'm actually paying a little bit of attention. Normally, I just drag them from the bottom at this stage. Um, but we did actually get a few useful people at the bottom, so I don't exactly want to be dragging people who might actually be pretty damn awesome. For instance, uh, if we have a look at these people. Zolbal Edenvabok. Labour. We find out that you are a... Oh, you're an excellent wood burner. Well, that really doesn't matter. Zolbal Edenvabok. Well done. You have found yourself in the military. I hope you enjoy your stay. Woodburner. There we go. Who else? Who else? Um, military, military, military. Now, other Zulban who has the siege abilities is actually pretty useless to us. So we'll skip ahead. What about you? Uh, you are great at clothes making. Really not something I care all that much about. And we have someone else who's great at clothes making. Um... You're a great clothier. Oh, well done. Sibrek Calrethitur. Sibrek Calrethitur. Right. Bam. Who else? Who else? Meg Otanmost. Um, you are great at bone carving. Yeah, well done for you. But honestly, I don't really care much about bone carving. You're a master bone carver. But you know what? You can also be a master at carving up your enemy's bones. Uh, you're also okay at butchering and tanning, but yeah. Meg Otanamost. Well done. You have decided to join the military. I'm glad you did. Now, is there anyone important down here? Because I'm just tempted just to start pulling people. Um, What are you? W you're a great woodcutter. Oh, no. No one else can do that job. Hmm. I guess, well, you're all pretty fast at it. That is uh, something to be said for that. What's this? That's wood burning. We already got you in the military. Hello, what about you? Uh, yeah, you're kind of pointless. Ragust Men... Men... Cossack. Ragust Men Cossack. Well done, you've joined the military. You're a clerk. Oh, you're actually particularly good at being a clerk. Comedian. Record keeper. You're a better record keeper than we currently have, actually. I'm probably going to change... Uh, our, our dude out. Because I think... Who's our current dude? It must be you, isn't it? Yeah. Let's actually do a quick look at our nobles before we decide any further positions. So, pause, nobles. Uh, bookkeeper. Yes, you could be done with changing. So, let us replace you. Yep, great record keeper. Talented record keeper. Adequate. So, 
Switch straight to great. You will need your own little place, but that is fine. We can arrange that. Who else? Who else needs doing stuff? Mistem Galmothne. We should just double you up. There's no relevant skills on anyone, so let's put you on Mistem. The same person who's currently doing our important uh, leading the job thing. You know, I, I don't know what I'm on about anymore. Mistem, Mistem, there we go. Militia Commander. And Hammer. Oh, we should probably make someone really unimportant the Hammer. Like someone who is really crap at attacking people. Because the Hammer, basically, their job is to punish the wrongdoers. And if you punish the wrongdoers with someone who's really good at fighting, they tend to die. Because they tend to beat them to death. Whereas if you punish them with someone who's really crap at fighting, then they don't do that much damage. Um, mm, what else can I do? Um, I'm going to leave that for now. That seems good to me. By the way, there's so many good social skills here. If we get a vampire, it'd be really hard to tell. Because normally the way you tell a vampire, yes, you can get vampires, um, is that they're like, oh, they tend to be, you know, fairly sociable. But the problem is we've got a fairly, fairly large amount of social people. It could just be that all of them are vampires. But Who else is important? You are an excellent plant gatherer. Wow, that's so important. Leg okolodonum dom. Leg okolodonum. Dum 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 leg okelobidodom leg leg oh there we go lead okelobidodom herbalist are you important are you pretty good at your stone detailing I'll give you that you are important you've got weapon smithing so we'll move straight on up and beekeeping oh my god beekeeping wow that's such an important talent Erosh Edemsetrush. Beekeeper. Well done. And we have... Oh, did I remove someone from the military to do that? Did I actually go down? I don't know. Um, well, I, I guess we'll do the last two people. Let's see if we can find two people in a row. Uh, that's really unimportant. Zugla and... No, you are important. You're actually fairly good. So move Zeph. Ignore Zephon. Zulga and Zas. Are you doing anything important? Zulga and Zas. We'll make you do your thing, all right? Zulga and Zas. So it's Zas Meng and Zulga Atir. Zas Men and Zulga Atir. Zas Men and Zulga Atir. Where are you? Zas Meng, there we go. And Zulgal Atir, there we go. So we have our ten guys. All of them will get outfitted. And we can be very happy about them. Look at them. They are a very happy bunch, aren't they? They are such a happy bunch, you can totally tell. Hmm. They're, apparently they are one out of one Mark Dwarf, nine out of nine wrestlers. They should all become Mark Dwarfs eventually, when we have enough... Uh, crossbows. I don't think that we have enough crossbows though currently. Let's have a look, check how far the crossbows are along. Yes, we still haven't got them built. That's a shame. Well, how's that unloading coming? You're constructing a building. Very fine. They've got plenty. Oh, I see anvils. They've actually brought anvils. That's great. We've made some ash. That's nice. I guess make me some tallow. Make soap from tallow. No, can you render me fat? Render fat. Yes, render me 30 fat. That'll be done whenever they have the chance. Oh, they're bringing bars as well. It could be important stuff. Well, I'm actually going to end the episode here. I've been Enter Elysium. This has been Dwarf Fortress. Hopefully the uh, the fortress will, you know, manage to feed itself. We are running slightly low on food. And what about gob uh, drink? Yeah, we're doing okay on drink. Mechanisms are good. We're about as a Bolts. Wooden bolts are fluctuating all over the place. No bone bolts. Copper bolts are decreased, actually, which is a uh, shame. Bars of coal. We could do more bars of coal. Anyway, I have been Enter Elysium. And this has been Dwarf Fortress 2012. We've been looking at it in uh, a little bit of detail and seeing how we can go about doing the whole Dwarf Fortress thing. It's a great game to get into, but of course there is a little bit of that slope getting there in the first place. 
Anyway, if you've liked the episode, please remember to like. And if you're not subscribed and you want to see more or something else entirely, please remember to subscribe. Anyway, I've been Hurley and we're going to leave it there. Stay shiny.